Then he went to Boston and talked about how he survived a Pennsylvania flood and more people gathered. Then he came to see… Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanyalungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanyalungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day and we've been able to do that thanks to you guys. Keep giving us things to react to are very very grateful so if there's anything that you want us to react to you can let us know in the comment section below by dropping us a link or your title and we'll be more than glad to do it we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs and just let us know what you think and if there's also something that you guys want to see there by the way first subscribe and if there's anything that you guys want to see there let us know and we'll be more than glad to do it We've got a podcast called Diving In With Funny and Jesse. Um, well, we have some amazing conversations. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, this channel, and our second YouTube channel. We also have a Patreon where you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very, very grateful. Uh, I'd like you guys to check out my new website. Just check out my blog. I write from time to time. I'm trying to be consistent. This time I'm doing it for myself, not anyone else. So... I'm enjoying the journey so far so you guys can just check out what I write and if you love short poems you can head to my Instagram Stefani L and you'll find poems there so yeah a big shout out to the people that have subscribed to our channel that are liking that are watching this video and other videos that are giving us things to react to and just sticking by us you guys are the best we thank you very much we appreciate you with all our hearts so thank you. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. And as you can tell from the title today, I'll be reacting to Should you pray to God, sad guru's eye? Opening answer. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Prayer means you're telling God what to do. You think you're God's consultant. Meditation means you just shut up. If you just shut up, Everything that needs to happen to you will happen to you. So touching that dimension which is beyond the physical means you want to touch that dimension which is the basis of the physical. When you say that which is the basis of the physical, what you're talking is that you're not interested in creation but you're interested in the source of creation. There, if you go and stand in front of the creator, at least there you must keep your ideas down, isn't it? Hmm? Your ideas must be kept down for some time when the creator is here, isn't it so? Isn't he the… isn't he the biggest idea? It's like, there was a man in Pennsylvania, where are you from? Ah, it rains, it doesn't flood there. <laughs> That's why we put Seattle on the coast. <laughs> Otherwise, it would flood, you know, <laughs> that place. <laughs> so Pennsylvania, there was a man in Pennsylvania. Once there was a big flood, and are you okay if there's a joke inside a joke? You're all right. The flood was beginning to happen, the water was filling up and there was a very enthusiastic young journalist who was reporting stage by stage, hour by hour as to how the flood is progressing, you know? Because that is journalism. Somebody is drowning, report to the world, this man is drowning, look at him drowning, take it on the video and show it to everybody how a man drowns. You don't throw the goddamn camera and get the man, no. You show the whole world how a man can drown in a flood <laughs> So, these are not the days of uh, video cameras, only, you know, Morse code is how the 
report is being filed. So he filed a report very eloquently, he said, as God sits and watches, the water is filling up in this part of Pennsylvania and houses are going down and this and that and described it in very eloquent terms. Then he immediately got a response from his editor, leave the flood, interview God. <laughs> God is sitting and watching, <laughs> he thought he's somewhere here <laughs> Forget about the flood, interview God. They didn't get to interview him, it continued. Many homes drowned, many people died, but one man survived. This man who survived went to New York City and shared among people how he survived a Pennsylvania flood where so many people died. People gathered. Then he went to Boston and talked about how he survived a Pennsylvania flood and more people gathered. Then he came to Seattle and he shared, more people gathered. Then he started his roadshow, city to city, talking and talking about how he survived a Pennsylvania flood. He became a famous speaker in America and then naturally, you know, Every American has to write a book within their lifespan. So he wrote a book how he survived a Pennsylvania flood. It became famous, he spoke everywhere and his engagements become international. He became a millionaire, sold millions of books. All his life he only spoke about how he survived the Pennsylvania flood. And. Uh, one day he died, not in a flood, he died. And they had an assembly, he went to… he went through the pearly gates and there was an assembly of people and uh, there was an opportunity to speak, a few people could speak. So he told his neighbors, I will share my experience about how I survived Pennsylvania flood, somebody nudged him and said, there is no one in the audience. Okay? So, now you don't go stand in front of that which is the basis of creation and throw your ideas at him. You are his idea. Yes? You are just a figment of his idea. If he withdraws his idea, you're gone. So you don't put your ideas. So this is the essence of meditativeness. Prayer means you're telling God what to do. <laughs> you think you're God's consultant. Meditation means you have understood your limitations, now you just shut up. If you just shut up, just shut up on all levels, everything that needs to happen to you will happen to you. All the training is just to help them to shut up. That you don't throw your silly ideas at the creator, you just shut up. Very interesting video by um, Sad Guru. Um, I guess what he said is you're just leaving things to be. So many times we find ourselves panicking because maybe situations in our lives are not changing. Situations we're in are just getting worse. We find ourselves telling God, I want mm, maybe ice cream, I want a big house, I want this. God created us, God to give us what's, what's meant for us. I don't know how you want to take this, but otherwise, that's all, that's what I'm understanding from this entire thing. Sometimes you have to 
forget that you have all sorts of problems because God will deal with them and things will keep moving. Don't ever forget that. So yeah, let me know what you think about Sadhguru's um, your video. If there's anything that you have to say, um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, when you meditate on something you believe in, you can be praying but still meditating at the same time. Uh, you get the results. So let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.